Today we're going to look at using colors to visualize the data in the RAD pivot map, RAD tree map control. RAD tree map is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. Let's go ahead and jump straight into Visual Studio 2010 and build on our existing project. So now we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're just building on to our existing project that we've been working on in another part of this series. So for a quick recap of what we've been doing in our existing project, you'll see that we have added a couple of references to our projects. Uh, those references is Telerik.Windows controls, Telerik.Windows controls.data visualization, and Telerik.Windows.data. Once we've put that in place, we've added just a tad bit of code behind to this project. So this application will look at the GDP data for a certain country. And as you see here, we have a very simple class that has continent, country, state, with a double for GDP. And then we just have some sample data here listed. And notice that we have um, four items listed for the United States. So if we switch back over to our main page.xaml, and I'm just going to expand this window just a little bit, let's look at what we already have. So beginning we have a Telerik red tree map, and we give it a name, then we have a layout strategy, and we give it a border thickness and a border brush. So for our type definition, we actually add in the target type for GDP info, the value path, GDP, the label path as just country, and then of course we're adding in some information for the tooltip, which is GDP, and then I have a special tooltip format here that uh, formats it very nicely for us. So we finish up with a Telerik.top definition dot mappings, which we don't have anything in the mappings and just yet, and then we have our closing tags. If we run this application, then you'll see it's kind of a pretty boring looking graph here. So we see China has the most with 5,308 and then Denmark for their GDP it's 318. So let's look at a couple of ways we can visualize this data a little bit better. So underneath the mappings here, and I'm just going to move this over just a little bit, we're going to begin using some of the items that's already built into Telerik's controls. So the first one we're going to use is actually the tree map gradient colorizer. So we'll just type in Telerik and we're going to use value gradient colorizer and we're going to give it a range minimum and we'll just set this to zero and then we're going to give it a range maximum and I'm just going to set this to 14600. So now if I close that tag out, I can begin setting up my gradients. So I've already picked out a couple of colors and I'm just going to paste those in. And once I paste those in, you can see we have a gradient stop mm -hmm. with this color and uh, kind of an yellowy orangey color and then we have a reddish color and then an orange color down here at the bottom and if you're wondering how um, I have these colors that's listed underneath it it's uh, our productivity add-in called just code which you can check that out if you would like so now we'll go ahead and we'll run this application again and we can see here that the really red items here is of course our maximum uh, GDP and then as you start as you start seeing the gradient colors kind of fade out down to the 318 which is the lowest GDP in our data set so this is a really nice quick and easy way to start adding some color and some life to your application that also helps your user to be able to see um, what's exactly happening with the data at a quick glance so let's look at another example so I'm going to just come back here and I'm going to remove the gradient that we just added so the next one we're going to look at is actually a value brush converter so let's go ahead and let's scroll back up to the top and let's create a 
user control dot resources and now once that's in place I'm going to give it a couple of solid color brushes so I'll paste that in and as you can see here we have um, we have one set for items for a thousand up to two thousand three four five and then I just have a border brush that's been added and now I'm going to pass in Telerik Rain Range Brush Collection and as you can see here these are the values the GDP that it's looking for before it colorizes it so we have 0 to 99 and then I just kind of made up a couple of other a uh, couple of other numbers here and then finally we have uh, from 4000 to 1500 so now that we've added in our user control dot resources we gave it some solid color brushes and we've set up our range brush collection let's go back down to the code now and let's add in just a tiny bit of code so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do Telerik and I'm going to do value brush colorizer is absolute let's go ahead and set that to true here the value path is going to be set to GDP the range minimum I'm going to set it to zero just like before and then the range maximum I'm going to set this to 14600 and then I'm going to give it my brushes equal to a static resource which is going to be my colorizer brushes and close out that tag so now if I run this same application and I can see the following data now so for channel for the USA we can see that we have this bluish color here and then of course we have a light blue uh, for these items next up we have the pinkish color and then for red for our items that fall in that that small range that's under 1000 so of course we can go back and we can look at the data here and we can see that that data matches up perfectly Please tune in to tv.teleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements.